Hello friends welcome back to this channel. So, in previous session we had set up our AWS account, and then, we created an IAM user, right? Now in this session, we are going to spinning up an instance using Terraform. So, we are done with creating an IAM admin user in our AWS account. Now we will create a Terraform file to spin up the T2 micro instance, and then we will run a command called Terraform apply, which will process the content of Terraform file. And we'll then spin up the instance on AWS. So let's get started. So, as you can see in PowerShell, I am on my desktop directory, and now I am going to open my Terraform directory. So, cd, Terraform, 2022, and in this directory I have one more directory called, first steps. Now, here if I say, ls, you can see we have one Terraform file which is, instance.tf, file. So, Let's see the content of this file using cat command. So, cat instance.tf. As you can see this is a very simple code here, provider is AWS, and here we have to give our access key, and secret key. Here we are going to use, US East 1, as region and then, we are going to spin up our instance in Terraform we are going to call it, example instance. Here we have to specify instance type, and we have to specify image so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to a website that lists the current MEIDs for a particular region. I am okay with US East 1, so I am not going to change my region. Now I will edit this file with VS Code, but feel free to use any editor on your workstation to edit this file. So, the website that I'm going to use is cloudimageubuntu.com. Here, I am going to search for US East 1 and Xenial. And here, I'm going to choose this one EBS, because, with T2 instances don't have, instance store, they only EBS which is the external storage. So this is the Amy that we will using. So, let's pass it here. Now, here the first command that you always have to enter is, Terraform, in it. So, whenever you create a new directory and you want to run Terraform apply, you have to run Terraform in it and this will initialize the provider plugins. And it says, Terraform has been successfully initialized and then you can run Terraform plan or apply. So keep in mind whenever you create a new directory, you will have to run Terraform in it before you run apply. So once it complete, now we can run Terraform apply. So it will ask whether we want to perform these actions. And if we agree with that, we can do. And then it says, creation complete, it added one resource. So this resource is created. Now, I can have a look at AWS console. So, as you can see, it is my AWS management console, and here. If I go to EC2, and, here I can see, I have one running instance. Now, if I go to, instance. So, this is the instance that is now being launched. Now, if you don't want this instance to be running anymore. So, whenever you finished, you want to do there, destroyed. Which is, just going to destroy this instance, so we don't have to pay for it. If you have the free tier, yes, you can actually keep this T2 micro running, but then, if you start a second one, you will have to start paying for the second one, so to be safe, I am just going to do, terraform, destroy. So it refreshing the state to make sure that, this one is running and if, it's running, it's going to destroy it. Yaw and destroying also take some time. It's done now. And another useful is, terraform, plan. So, in this we we will just have a look, and it will then show you, what it's planning to do, without applying it to your infrastructure. So here, you can see, it will create again a WS instance example. Now here, if you do, terraform, plan, out and, out.terraform, or any file you would like use as output, then the change that terraform is going to make, just only this change will be saved in this, out.terraform. So, when you do, terraform apply, and then, out.terraform. Then it will only apply the changes, that you see here. If you do, terraform apply, 
Without this, this is actually just a shortcut of terraform plan with an out file. And then, it will do terraform apply this file. And then it will remove this file. So, if you use terraform apply without an argument, it's kind of just a shortcut. If you want to be safe and it's highly recommended you, always do terraform plan out to a file. And then you do apply this file because, in this file or, this out of terraform will be the changes that are going to be applied to, infrastructure. So then you are always sure that, the change that you just have seen on your screen will be the change that will be applied on your infrastructure. Then you are not blindly applying changes to your infrastructure. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.